Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm going to be unboxing my Rainbow Crate for the month of May. I am very excited for this one. So if you've never heard about Rainbow Crate before, we get two books inside here. Um, and we get two items. One is the Molly Magnet, and then the other item could be literally anything. So yeah, I already opened it because I just got too excited for it. But the first thing we have is an art print here that um, goes for one of the books for this month. Um, so yeah, you get two books. One is a traditionally published book, the other one is an indie book. Um, and I love the art print. And then on the back is just a spoiler card. Um, so yeah, and then we also get a like newsletter thing. And this month's theme was Fight Like Hell. And the next month's theme is a spark of magic for the month of June. Um, so yeah. Okay, so the first like actual item here is inside this box and it seems like it is a mug which I'm really excited I love mugs so every time I get a mug in any subscription box I'm very very happy about so here is the mug and I think it looks really really cool there's a whole bunch of mermaids on it which I love it's so so pretty and it is based on the deep by um river Sol Solman I don't know, but I never read this book, but it does look interesting, so I'm excited to check it out. Um, also, Rainbow Crate, if you couldn't tell, is a queer subscription box, so all the books they feature are queer books, So and also the items. So I'm really excited. I really love this. I like the art style on here, and I think it's pretty big and pretty, really cute, so I am very happy with that item. And let's go ahead and pick out the magnet for this month. So here is the magnet for this month right here. Um, the magnets are pretty cool. They're not my favorite things to receive, but I do like them for the most part. I think they're really cool. I have no idea what this is. This is based on um, Burning Roses by S.L. Hanyan. I never heard of that book either, so probably gonna check that out um, soon as well. But yeah, that's the magnet for this month. It looks nice. Okay. So, let's go ahead and pick out the first book here, which is the traditionally published book. I just like going through that book first, just because the traditional books that they feature in month, each month, um, all they do is just give us an exclusive dust jacket. And the indie book, is that's where they get the frayed edges um, and like everything exclusive to it. So, yeah. So the first thing here is a book plate here, but it's not signed by neither of the authors they're just digitally printed so they couldn't get real signatures but they still wanted to include a book plate um even though none of the authors signed it since this is a book written by two different authors together and then we get a author um a dear readers note from both authors on both sides here if you want to read that so yeah but the month this the traditionally published book for this month is The Sun and the Star by Rick War Orden and um, Mark Oshoro. I was very excited for this book and I love what they've done to this exclusive cover. I think it's absolutely gorgeous there. There is the spine and then there is the back cover. I love this a lot. This is so, so pretty. I love the artist they went for this month because I feel like um, they work with different artists each month and if you saw my last video i didn't like the artist they chose um for that but i love this artist they did such a great job with this cover redesign i love it so much it's so so pretty and i'm excited to read this and it's also quite thick it's around like 400 pages or maybe even like it's 400 and 70 pages so it's almost 500 pages um and then they on the naked hardback it's just like the regular edition that you get. It has the same folding on the normal one. And then on the end papers, just a map here that all the books include on the normal edition as well. And then um, you also get the original cover if you are you like that better. So that's the original cover. Um, but I like, um, oops, okay. But I like what they've done on the redesign. I probably will just buy another normal edition to get the original cover as well. Um, just because I 
like doing that, even though I probably shouldn't. But yeah, um, I'm very excited to read this one and check it out. But I'm very, very happy with what they've done to this book. Okay, so now let's go ahead and see the indie book that they chose to do this month. Um, there's also a whole bunch of peanuts that just fell, which is going to be annoying to clean up. But that's okay. Um, this book is a lot thinner. Um, I feel like all the, um, oh damn, all of their indie books that they choose, like, they're always so short, which is fine, but I don't know. Um, but this, they chose The Fate of Stars by F.D. Simpler, and I love this cover redesign. This cover redesign is absolutely perfect and gorgeous, and it also did came with a signed book plate there, um, which is beautiful. Um, yeah, I love this redesign cover that they went with. Um, yeah, it looks great. And then there's the spine and the back cover. And we do have some nice stencil edges on all three sides. They're all the same, which is like mermaid scales on each three sides, which I do like. It's very, very pretty. So let's go ahead and take off the dust jacket here. And it is on a naked pink hardback with some nice holographic folding. And just look at it. Look how beautiful this foil is on the front cover. I love it. And then there's the spine and then the back here with some more of the hollow um, foiling, which I love. It says, I stole her, I ruined her, and so I ruined myself to write to write it. This, this is absolutely gorgeous. I love this so much. I really love it naked, um, but I am going to keep the dust jacket on. And then we have the end pages and then the back end pages. They are different, but just kind of similar, um, but I love it. Um, and yeah, this book is about like literally uh, turning it in 97 pages, so it's quite short. Um, and yeah, I think oh, we also get a um, dear reader note from the author there. So that's kind of cool. It's bound in, which I love. Um, and it has some content warning and the rep in this book, which is really cool. Um, so yeah, this is the May box for Rainbow Crate, and I love it. I love both of these book redesigns that they did. I love the indie one. I love the cover, and I love the great edges, the digital printed edges. They're very, very pretty. Um, so yeah, let me know your thoughts on both of these books. I'm very happy this month compared to last month, where I really didn't really enjoy um, the book that much. I love the book. The book was amazing. One of my favorite books that I read last year. I had an arc of it, um, but I didn't like the redesign cover for last month. <laughs> but this one right here, this is gorgeous. And so is this one. Both of these are very, very pretty all around. I'm very happy with these. And I'm also happy with the item because I love the mug and I love the, the magnet. It's pretty cool. So yeah, um, this retails about 60 50 ish $55 with shipping. So it is kind of pricey, but... Um, I'm happy to get queer books and especially special editions of queer books. So there isn't um, that many subscription service that focuses on queer books. Um, so I'm very happy. Um, and I love Room Quake because they do more than just like sapphic and gay books. They do like all kind of queer books. So I just really love that. Um, they also like, this is a middle grade book and this is an adult book. Um, so it's like you get a mix of everything, but they do mostly focus on young adults for the traditionally published and then for the um, indie published, they're mostly adult books. But yeah, let me know your thoughts of this description box. Uh, overall, I'm pretty happy with this. Um, so yeah, uh, make sure to like, comment below, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. <laughs>